Greetings one and all to the Mindscape MMO. This is my own server, officialmindscape.com, co-run with uh, Skip and Matt. And in today's episode, I'm going to be using the bow with all of the arrows that we've saved up from all of the other episodes. I'm going to try and get some uh, runes as they cost an absolute fortune. Uh, make some profit off of those. Again, slash money, it just shows my money that I've got. I bought a few more cooked beef just to get us going in the hope that... Uh, I can I can kill a few dark wizards, uh, but the, at the moment my uh, archery is really low level, so I'm not looking to to be able to kill these guys quite a lot. Looks like you're having troubles trying to steal this this guy. Oh, can you steal if you don't have anything in your hand? Oh God, you actually can as well. If you right click a, a mob, then I believe that you can steal from it. So you have to be the right level for that, apparently, which I'm not. So <laughs> that's not fun. But Okay, now if I just, I'm gonna have a look actually to see of my uh, range level. It's level three, and I'm nearly the next level up, so it shouldn't be too shabby. Hopefully, we can start stacking the runes there, bury the bones immediately, and I shouldn't be under too much problems because these are level nine mob, five mobs, which is even better actually. It does take a lot of arrows to kill one of them though, so like what five damage per arrow? I mean, as well as my range level being rubbish, I am using bronze arrows and I am using a uh, iron bow. I mean bronze bow as well. So it's probably just the worst outcome that can possibly happen. Range level 994 experience. So it's about it looks like about 80 experience per per dark wizard, but it does give us the time there and the defense levels as well. Actually, that'll be why then. I've got my defense to 20, which I know was an aim from the other episode. Uh, so I can not worry about that now. I will change my combat style to train ranged only. And now I get more experience on this because I've, I've done what I needed to and before I run out of arrows I want to put them to good use. I can always train defense with something else so it's not too much of an issue. Oh my days, he runs at light speed. Oh my days. There, sh there was um, an ability, uh, I can't remember, they must have, they must have been uh, messed up in the patch. But he did sort the uh, certain things out again so everything should be as fixed as it, as it can be. Anyway. Um, Guards over there are a bit silly there for a bit higher level than what we are at the moment as you can see that guy is just training on them. Uh, I got a little maths um, segment set up by Joey to talk about how many it would take to kill like uh, certain things and it's he's talking about like 30 hours plus just to get a level 99 or something or 99 constitution or whatnot in um, like consecutive hours just to complete one of the stats so it is an absolute grind fest he's put so many days and time into this so me <laughs> me with my like five hours ex of experience and shoddy amounts of money and everything else not gonna make it to the top of the top of the leaderboards anytime soon but we will give it a fair whirl so that's, that's all that matters really and grinding these can be a little bit uh, dull but you know the the runes each one you get is like 200 in coins so I'm making some serious stacks right now I mean I could sell the bones and the coins as well there's only one use for those obviously but eight coins dropping um, from these dark wizards compared to the runes that they have is like so pointless getting them it's pennies when I I, I will sell them at the end because I mean I'm not too much um, of fussed about magic at the moment uh, I'm just focusing on prayer and range and things like that, and then we'll go we'll go into some quests because uh, there's a lot more that I need to complete with those. So that'll be that'll be a fun episode doing a little bit, a few quests. But this is a money making scheme as well. Uh, it might it might even feature in the title? I'm unsure yet. But the range is fantastic. You go to Alcarid Warriors, you clear those uh, first. You get all the arrows you need because arrows again they're super expensive. Throwing in all this, I've got nine, nine, and eleven. We'll make, we'll sell them at the end, and we will see that I will be making probably, hopefully, about two thousand, three thousand uh, pounds, and that'll keep me going because I'm only level eighteen, so it's a good, good way, in my opinion, to make all of the dollar. Earth and air rune, stick them there, and can I get a long range shot on? Fire the cannons! Yes, I can. <laughs> probably does the same damage air five, so it doesn't matter if you pull it back or not. It's um, it's focused on just hitting him in general. That's all it does. My attack hasn't gone up yet in terms of it, but look how many arrows I've already used. If you really want to train range, they like go full on. It's going to cost you a stack of money. 
and the reason being is uh, you can only stack 15 at a time not 64 otherwise like the game just starts getting crazy I'm aware in RuneScape you can but because there's not that many items in this game we do need to kind of make it balanced so it's the only way but range level 8 is going up pretty damn quickly we've what we've gained uh, 1700 experience so far so that's pretty pretty impressive if that was a uh, runescape you'd be like yeah that's not bad either for level for level eight you know uh coins I'll just do that every time i can kill probably about four or five more we'll go uh, sell the stuff and then we'll probably head on over to do a quest or something like that or just to have a look for the quests but start to make some guides soon on money uh, which obviously then means I, I need to find out the best ways but that's what you do you play and prosper but I mean for the level that these guys are let me just go into uh, iron battle axe mode and just whip them one boom boom two shot two shots and I get what how many two water runes and one air room that's about 700 coins I think if I, I hope I'm basing it right let's go one more dark wizard it's level five like I said so there's absolutely nothing to it coins boom two earth runes 400 gold and i've got iron armor now if uh, no one knew i don't know whether i showcased that on the last episode or uh, whether i did that off camera but i've got iron so it's cool so i've got a lot more defense as you know it's level 20 now as well so that's a lot more of a solid uh, ground to stand on getting the uh, defense up first is potentially the idea with constitution obviously your health because it's a nightmare trying to fight mobs on this. You still get like absolutely decimated at top level uh, against certain mobs, and they drop like really good stuff on the server. So things that are going to cost a lot of money, a lot of gold. Ow, oh, he threw some magic at me. Bumhead. Curses. And he's gone. Right then, before I fill out all of my arrows, add one more actually. One more. We will make it one more, and then we will head off. The all the bugs as well have been fixed that we know of that are like game changers so the uh, tutorial island one has um the magic and range as you can tell i'm, I'm obviously I'm, I'm ranging right now so that's been fixed as well uh, there's certain things that were just problematic with the game and it did kind of uh, ruin it a little bit i'll go see if there's an advanced shop actually in varrock and we'll just uh, wander around there a little bit as well because not seen much more of the world uh, which i will start to build again hey hey fellow let's see what level this guy is can I see though? No. Oh wow. He's dropping the runes. Does he have any idea how much 27 air runes is? Is this guy mental? Oh yes. Right. I'll get to the shop and I'll show you how many how much money he's just lost. Let's give him a smiley face because he doesn't realise. He might be he might be minted though. He's level 25, so I'm level uh, 18, it says there constitution range barely gave anything for me but it's level nine now so that's good it started on level three or four i believe so we did good uh hopefully there's a shop here general store yay general store go on to the next page and it only sells the iron the air runes where's the mind oh they're the mind okay it only sells air and oh amount 10 boy do i feel like a plonker now <laughs> Selling 70 though, still I can sell, 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 sell. Uh, can I get any more? No, I can't sell anymore. However, that is what 70, so I do slash money before it was. I've made 400 there just off those 13 million experience to go. Unbelievable. Oh, that's frustrating though. Big bones as well, 600 for a buying price. I'm gonna buy one. Let's see what it does. Well, obviously, I know what it does, but. Right, okay, my experience at the moment is 1,000 on the dot. <gasps> wow! Oh my days, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm buying another one. Big Bone gave me 1,200 experience. Boom! Why? <laughs> what was the difference? Okay, that one ruined it, so I just lost. Oops, I don't know why I'm doing that. I meant slash money. Oh, I've just lost, like, lots of money. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to uh, explore quests, as you, as you can see here, fine and dandy amount of quests to do. So we'll get going with all of those, maybe to be able to mine rune essence, something like that, and uh, just keep progressing with certain stats. Do leave a comment below if you want me to level anything like farming or, or wood cutting or rune crafting, anything that's really low magic, for example, fire making, I don't really do. Because all at the moment is combat and nothing else. I've not really focused on any of the quests either because there's so much other stuff to do on it. So uh, yeah, give me a shout. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.